Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Merry, happy, Lent. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Hey, if you love these videos, if you've been daring to be Lutheran with us this Lenten season and having a blast while you do it, go ahead and hit like on YouTube, wherever that button is, and also subscribe today. Also, you can go to higherthings.org and hit that donate button and give today. Your tax-deductible gift will keep Lent happy for us. Well, it'll certainly keep these videos rolling. Happy Merry Lent. So, um, Lent isn't all grumpy and sad. It's not gloomy and uh, 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 full of sort of burdens. Uh, Lent is about Jesus. Uh, it is about what Jesus did for you. If your Lent is all about how much you give up or how much you're... Um, how much you need to do for God and sacrifice for God and fast for God, then scrap that Lent. There's nothing but sadness there. Lent, first and foremost, is about Jesus. It's about Jesus going to the cross for you. He fixes his eyes on the cross. If there's any sort of fasting in Lent, it's to fast and get all the stuff out of our eyes that block his being such a God as he is Calvary much. And so it seems odd if you think Lent is all about you and your sacrifice that there would be a happy Lent Sunday. The fourth Sunday in Lent, like Tara, with its introit, rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. There's a pink rose Sunday in Lent, a joyful Sunday, a Sunday in which the joy of the suffering and death of Jesus spills over and the color changes from repentant purple, violet, to rose, French word for pink. Because Lent isn't intended to be grumpy. You know what's happening. He's going to the cross for you. He's going to die for you. He's going to live for you. And you're going to be saved with him. And in his death and in his resurrection, you have life. He was crucified for your sins. He was raised for your justification, your forgiveness before God. And that is joyful and it's happy. And so I used to say happy Lent and people would get grumpy with me. So I, I, I'm going to have to make a change here. I'm going to change from happy Lent to something more seasonal. Merry Lent. Have a merry Lent. Be joyful. Let your Lent be about Jesus going to the cross for you. I see articles all the time where people are sort of broken by Lent. They're, they're sort of grumpy with Lent. They're Lenting from Lent. Well, okay. Uh, if your Lent was all about you because your religion was all about you, because your faith was all about you, and suddenly you caved in and buckled in and was broken by Lent... That makes total sense. But if Lent was what it was supposed to be about, which is a time of meditating on the suffering and on death of Jesus, your Lent was, should be joyful, happy. And that's not some law, now he's telling me I have to be happy in Lent before he was telling me I have to be grumpy in Lent. No, I never told you to be grumpy in Lent. I never told you anything about you in Lent. This should be all about Jesus. And if you live in a universe where you're like, well, people should be needing to focus on Jesus, uh, they should do that all year round. Well, good for you. But the rest of us who are sinners, it would be good for us to focus on Jesus. But shouldn't you be doing that every day? Extra much. And there's a joy in that. There's a joy in repentance. The Father's joyful because one sinner repents. So the angels are joyful. We're joyful that the Lord is repenting us and fixing our eyes on Jesus. So a happy, merry, joyful, joyous Lent to you. This Sunday, Rose, wear a little pink, get into the spirit, because you see, Lent was never about you. It was first and foremost about Jesus for you. And getting you out of the way is the Lent of Lent, the fasting in Lent. But that should be, there, there, there's a happiness in that. Thank God Jesus is going to the cross for me. Thank God he's saving me. 
That makes for a happy, joyous Lent. Uh, you got an issue with me being joyous in Lent or having a happy Lent or telling you Merry Lent, take it up with Jesus who's headed to the cross to save me or with Gaudita and Lytara who are, which are happy Sundays in the midst of repentant seasons. Either way, let your Jesus be about you and it'll be grumpy. Let your, let your Lent be about Jesus. I'm sorry. If, let your Lent be about you and it'll be grumpy. Let your Lent be about Jesus and it'll be happy, merry, joyful. Lytara, rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. I'm Pastor George, George Borkart, having a happy, merry Lent. And this has been another Higher Things video short.